Hello, this is a quick video talking about how you can cheat at the game Wordle using standard command line Unix tools and the kinds of things you'll find on a standard Unix or Linux system. In particular, we're basically going to be using grep. Um, so Wordle, you probably know, is a game where you type in letters which match five letter words and the idea is you need to match the five letter word and guess what the five letter word is. So you start with the first guess. Um, my first guess is standard for me, which is a tone, a five letter word, which uses a lot of the most common letters in the English language. So if we try that and we get some answers already about what we know about the word. So here we've got a yellow indication on A, T and N and a grey one on O and E which tells us that A, T and N are the right letters in the wrong position and O and E aren't in it. So first off, every Unix system has got a file called user share dict words. We can look at that. just by using cat which just can concatenates it to the screen and this is basically an alphabetical list of words which are used in uh, spell checkers and so on um, you can consider it to be a list of the words in the English language I guess um, some of them obviously not English as you can see at the bottom but mostly they're English and we can pipe that through WC word count to get a count so we can see there are 10,000 words in this word, word list. And whilst this word list is probably not completely... Um, 102,000, sorry, what am I saying? Uh, not uh, all of the words in the English language, it's quite a lot of them, 102,000 of them. So one of the things we can start off with is see how many of these could possibly be word or words. So using grep, which is a search thing, we can say we're going to search for five-letter words. And with grep, to match any character, you use the dot. And to match the start of the word, you use the caret. And to match the end of the word, you'd use the dollar sign. So to match five-letter words, we go match the start of the word, any four characters, and then the end of the word. Um, and we can then put the file name we're searching in, uh, user, share, dict, words and that gives us all of the five letter words in the English language. You can see there's some things we don't want there so there's some uh, apostrophes and so on uh, but first off let's count those. So possible word was 6806 but probably not all of the ones in the English language but it's a good start. So given that um, what we can do now is start to cut it down. Um, so, um, to knock out letters, you can use grep with the minus V. So the pipe command, that vertical bar, takes the output of one command and puts it into another one. So by piping grep into WC minus L, we're counting the number of lines in the grep output. What we can do to um, we can also pipe the output of grep to another grep, so we could then pipe that to grep minus v, and then we have a set of the words that we know aren't in the word that we're looking for. So letters we know aren't in the word we're looking for. So uh, we know it's not got an apostrophe because that would be silly. Uh, we know it's not got, let's remind myself, an o or an e. O or an e. So that gives us all. Oh, The apostrophe is going to need to be escaped. Um, so that gives us all the words which don't have an apostrophe and don't have an O and an E. So we can pipe that through WC minus L just to count them. That's 2184. So that's cut out quite a lot of them already. Um, now, what we also know is that it does have an A, an N, and a T. So we can say we know that it's got... an A, and then and a T. So that gives us all the ones that match. Now we want all of those, don't we? Yeah. 
that's got all the ones that match. All of these have got an A and N and a T. So now we say, um, how many of those is there? Now we've got 61, which is a much more uh, tractable set of letters to suppose to search through. Um, already we're cutting it down quite considerably, as you can see. So our, by our second guess, we've cut it down to 61 possibilities. So we know um, that the most common letters in the English language are E T A I O N S H R L D U, um, which is something that you'll find all over the place. In fact, if you search for it, you'll find that it's the name of a character, it's in English language, it's appeared in newspapers, and it's because they are uh, the most com com common letters in the English language. So we've done a tone, so we've done A-T-O-N-E, so I-S-H-R, etc. are the next ones we want to try. Um, and we also don't want to try A, T and N in those positions. So let's try Saint. Is that a sensible one? That's got two more common letters and looks to be in the right kind of position. Okay, so that's taught us something else, right? So that's taught us it doesn't have an S or an I, and it's taught us that the A needs to be in the second position. So if we go back to our cheating, um, uh, so we know that now it's got to have, we don't know any more letters that it's got to have, but we do know that the A is in the second position. So we take we don't need to search for A anywhere anymore. We can put an A in the initial search term. So if we put any character A, any character, any character, any character, that's what our initial search terms are doing. Um, and we also know that we don't have an S or an I, so we can put S and I in there. So that's 17, um, which is considerably fewer. So which of these should we try next? Um, well, the A and the U looks like a common pattern here. So I might try putting a U in. And D is a common letter. Um, so we could try looking at D. And we could also look at N. So I'm going to go for Daunt. Ah, we know the N and the T aren't at the end, right? So NT is not the ending we're looking for. So I could actually include that in the grep, right? But we'll just go without that for now. How about Tangy? Let's try Tangy. There we go. Little bit of cheating, got it in three.